In this tutorial, we will learn how to approximate the number pi using the Monte Carlo method. We will build a simple web application using HTML5 and JavaScript. The code for this tutorial is available to copy and paste from the link in the video description. Pi is the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of any circle. In the real world, it's easy to measure the circumference of a circle using a tape ruler. In the computing world, however, getting the precise length of an arc is virtually impossible since every number in a computer is treated as discrete rather than continuous. The distance between two points is measured as a line, not a curve. So how do we get around the problem of measuring curves? We approximate. First, imagine a square with a circle inscribed inside of it. Now divide this square up into four quadrants. The side length of each quadrant is the radius of the circle. To save time, we will use only one quadrant in our simulation. For some duration of time, we will place dots randomly in this quadrant. As we do this, our applet will approximate pi by dividing the number of dots in the circle by the number of dots total and then multiplying that quotient by 4. How do we know whether to make the dots orange or blue? If the distance between the center of the circle and any given point has a distance less than or equal to the circle's radius, we can say that the point is within the circle, so we color it orange. Otherwise, we say that the dot is outside of the circle, and we color it blue. Here is a sample run of the simulation. When we press the button, the simulation will run for 30 seconds. Every eighth of a millisecond, a dot will be randomly placed on the canvas. Over time, we will start to see the formation of a circle. To create the animation effects in our applet, we will use the HTML canvas attribute. At the start of each run, the canvas will display a 200 by 200 pixel square with an arc starting from the bottom left corner to the right top corner to help us visualize a quarter of a circle. When the user clicks the button, we will clear the canvas and initialize the dot counts to zero. Then we will set an interval to draw a dot every eighth of a millisecond. We will also set a script timeout to stop the animation after 30 seconds. Every time we draw a dot with our application, we will randomly generate x and y coordinates between 0 and 200. Next, we will compute the distance between the dot and the origin of the circle using the distance formula. If the distance is greater than the radius of the circle, we will color the dot blue. Otherwise, we will color the dot orange. We will also update the dot count and the pi approximation in real time on the web page. Lastly, to prevent the user from interrupting the simulation while it's running, we will hide the button as soon as the user clicks on it. The button will reappear again once the simulation is finished running. To learn more about the number pi and to see this code in action, please visit the link in the video description. You can find out more interesting stuff at my website, pumpkinprogrammer.com. Thanks for watching.